Yes, easy everyone, Valem here, back with another tutorial. This time it's going to be a little technique using a program called Mixed in Key. If uh, people aren't familiar with Mixed in Key, it's basically a tool for DJs to find out which key the tracks are in, then you can assign your tracks a key, and then you can use their system in order to, to get your tracks in key. I'll just open it up just to I'm going to briefly skim over this because you can find all this information on their website. But if your track's in F minor, which is 4A, then 3A, 5A, 4A, and 4B, any track assigned to them should be in key with that track. So you can mix those two and they'll be um, musically and harmonically in key. Now, instead of using it on a DJ track, we're going to use it on our samples and basically all the samples within the sample pack the Valem McLeod drum bass uh, samples volume 2 all the samples in there have already been assigned a mixed in key key which is going to help speed up the process when you're writing a track and you've already got a key, you maybe got a bass line going but you need to start finding those extra elements to really fill out the track you can use this system to quickly find samples that are in key. Um, so, first thing that I would do is to go to your sample library and then go through and import all your samples, or maybe not all of them, it might take ages, but just go through bit by bit and then just get all your samples and assign each of those samples a key and mixing key will do all that for you um, if you just go to preferences here and just says file renaming then when you analyze the samples within mixing key it will automatically put the key at the end of the track as seen here uh, so as you can see I've kind of gone through and, and done done some of that with one of my sample libraries um, we're going to go to a track. This is a demo track that I've made for the sample pack. All the noises have been made from the sample pack. I'll just give you a quick blast. So if we wanted to take this track further and start filling up with some more noises, then what we can do is find out the key of this track. How, how do you do that, you'd ask? Well, what I do I take a, a bounce of the track and then open it in mixed in key, uh, which I've already done, but I'll just show you. So you go add, pick the track you want, open, and then just hit analyze. So this analyzes the track and it says this in 9A. So 9A is, let's have a look, 9A is in E minor. So, if we want to then find some samples that are in key, um, then all you need to do is just search 9A, and that searched my most recent sam sample library, um, and it and it will do everything. It will do it will do bongos even, and you'll find like the bongos are in key. It's not 100% accurate. Like I'd say, it's like 90%, like nine out of ten times it will get the key right. Um, but I think it's a good way of just narrowing down your samples and you know pretty much that these samples are all going to fit um, and then you can start applying these samples into your track and it's just a, a way of instead of trawling through gigabytes and gigabytes of samples this way it will just narrow it down to like 20, 20 samples and then you can go through those samples and then start adding them into your track so not only can you search 9A, you can search 8A, that should be in key as well, and also 10A. Um, so you know, you've know got all these samples that are potentially in key that could be used to help embellish your track. Uh, also you can use 9B, uh, which is just like the major key to the minor key and it, and it, and it works. Um, Basically, me and McLeod have been using this a lot when we're 
especially when we're writing liquid kind of sample heavy bass songs and uh, this way is it's just a great way of speeding things up and it'll it will just help you write tunes quicker I have to say a big shout out to, to BC the spearhead records head honcho he's the guy he came round and he showed me this technique so I'm just uh, spreading the love that he showed me so uh, big up everyone I uh, hope you enjoyed it peace